Dear students, all of you know that for a firm, the output is one of the important variables. How we can analyze it by using the marginal value of it or the total value or the average value of it, let us see. However, our focus will be to calculate the marginal value of the product. Uh, assuming a total production function, which is here, which is uh, cubic in nature because the highest power of the independent variable is 3. When we have this production function given, we have some uh, parameters which are numerical values given. However, we have assumed that they are positive values. Marshall product of labor, if we calculate it, then we labor ke se hum iski differentiation kar denge. And that will be the marginal product of labor. So, differentiation ke standard rules ko humne use kiya yahan par aur marginal product of labor ko find out kiya. The uh, unusual thing is ke iska answer numerical sense mein nahi hai, rather it is appearing with, uh, you know, alphabets that are the parameters A, B, C. All of them are basically positive values. Now we can also find the value of the average product of labor in order to analyze it and compare it. Now the standard, uh, uh, the now the total production function is mentioned, which can be used to take the ratio with labor that will allow us to get the average product of labor, which is done here by simply dividing the whole function with labor, we got the average product of labor. So, we have this value ko bhi note kar liya. Because this value or the other value, that is the APL or average product of labor and marginal product of labor. We can plot this and observe the pattern of this pattern. You can see that this graph is actually reminding us that in which way the total product and with it, Average product or marginal product vary karte hain over various phases. So, jo humne analysis kiya hai, usse plot karke, we can plot uh, using that uh, set of functions, hum total product bhi bana sakte hain, jo ke aapke paas panel above mein hai, aur jo niche panel hai, uske andar average product or marginal product ko plot kiya hai. So, by doing the marginal analysis, we can compare the, uh, the three major functions, that is the total product function, the average and the marginal function, in order to see that we are in phase mein hai, or uh, is it the increasing marginal returns or is it the diminishing marginal returns or is it the negative marginal returns that we are in and uh, the decisions are to be taken by the firm. The firm has any stages to consider and the marginal function and average function to use and we have estimated they will decide that how much they produce and how they can maximize their profits.